Hello and welcome to this week's Coffee Chat. How are you guys doing? Doing really well, thank you, Jake. Doing Very really good. Well. Had a good weekend. I was going to ask you what you did this weekend, but actually yesterday, me and Emma bumped into the two of you. No, we bumped into you. Yeah. Okay, yeah. you bumped into yeah. us yeah. at the famous Recolver, which is getting so much of a shout out oh, in these Coffee we Chats. Love Recolver. And, and we were going for a very short 10, 15 minutes walk and a sit down on the bench with our coffees. Whereas yeah. you guys were going on a bit of a mission, weren't you? Yes. So, um, as we've said in these coffee chats, we <laughs> recently <laughs> decided to look for sharks. Wait, we've mentioned this on the coffee chats. I think we have mentioned yeah. it. Oh, yeah. really? Once or twice? So. This will probably be the yes. last time that we <laughs> Yeah. Um, Simon's always <laughs> loved fossils and creation. And we found out that Recorva is a place... I think it's one of the only places in the British Isles. It's one of the best places in the British Isles. To find shark's teeth. Wow. So we've often looked, and in November last year, I found a really tiny one, which Simon, I think, showed last week, was it? Which has been some, you know, again, discrepancy around whether it's original, unreal. Okay, so but, mm. yesterday... T- but you're pretty confident, aren't you? Oh, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more than confident, right. Right. Okay, cool. <laughs> because of what happened However, yesterday. you you've never found one, had you? Never found one personally. I, I was like, always the bridesmaid, never the bride. As far as sharks yeah, too, but that's so. partly because you were like so embarrassed of the, the, the looking, digging, the digging yes. with the coffee, yeah. the coffee you were like, I'm yeah. going to keep 100 metres yeah. away. Let me just tell you how it happened. So yesterday I said to Tina, do you want to come with me and Dad on a walk? And mm-hmm. she said, yeah, that'd be nice. I said, well, we'll be looking for shark's teeth, which she's never actually done with us because we've only recently taken up the... Yeah. <laughs> taken up the hobby. Yeah. And we've never been fully equipped. So Bates and we've so is we've our new We've never been fully equipped. No, so I got some sticks yesterday on the way and Simon was like, don't be ridiculous. And I said, look, normally we use our paper uh, coffee can cup. I, can I pause you there? So when we bumped into them, <laughs> when we bumped into we them, they're here with these big sticks. We're like, are yeah. they going to beat us up or something? Yeah. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. Simon was embarrassed and wouldn't carry it. I said, you'll be thank- thanking me when we are on the beach. Anyway, we bumped into you, said hello. That was lovely. Showed you our sticks. <laughs> yeah. and then we Very went, aggressively showed yeah, you our sticks. And we went down onto the beach. We explained to Tina. Now, it was a, the tide, the spring tide, apparently, was very, very far out. The furthest we've ever seen mm. it. Apparently... You found this out. It's very good. Well, the further it, the too. sea is out, the more likely you are to find. Makes the sense, doesn't because it? Because people haven't been there. Yes. So anyway, so you know, we explained to Tina. This is you should stick. Um, very technical. <laughs> turn it There's on. an art to this. Turn it on. Uh, yeah. And then... <laughs> anyway, the next couple of hours. Well, actually, very quickly, within about fifteen minutes, Tina couple of, wait, found next. amazing. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we spent a couple of hours. Oh, doing blimey. It. You can just lose yourself <laughs> in this activity. It's very addictive. Okay. So Tina literally found a big one. In 15 minutes. In 15 minutes. She was like, is this one? Is this one? And she ran to her is dad. So one? proud. Dad, dad. And it was a decent size. We're going to put a picture well, of it. Well, she found it about the stick. Good question. It was poking up. It's no, a... it was actually poking up. She didn't need the stick. Uh, At that point, Yeah. I was using the stick a lot because of my bad back. And so was Simon. Mine was longer than the other. Oh, so sorry. You were now oh, involved in oh, the digging, yes. and the, oh, so yes. you were now one of them. <laughs> you are. I was one of the shark stick hunters. Yes. I then found one, which was amazing. Yeah, but Tina at this point, then, I was getting a bit brassed off. Yeah, he, yeah. And then Tina found another. We were like, "Whoa, this wow. is amazing!" Over the yes. course of a couple Three. of hours, and then me and Tina were like really praying, and literally. I actually prayed out loud, didn't I? Because I This was the fastest to... answered prayer yeah. in history. Kids and, like, Dear Lord Jesus, can Simon? I was like, here. <laughs> and, one. and the picture that's going to come up now is of the four that we found yesterday. And they're very impressive. Mary Grinnell. We brought them in today to show the office to yeah. prove they are real. And they are and they very are large. And they are impressive. They're much better than the first yeah. one I found in so November. To find four. And, and it's only a Photoshop. So it's, it's not actually something you found. You've just you've just photoshopped something to make yeah. it look like well, you're holding it. So. I don't know if you're going to show the picture of them all in Simon's hand on the beach. I'm going to show Jake hold them as well. Just to... <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a little picture on the paper of all of our names of which yes, one. Yes, it was a lovely day out, and it, it really was, was amazing Tina, to find yeah. a shock. Tina felt very special because yeah. she found the first proper big one. Yeah. And I'm impressed by your perseverance yeah. of, of staying there. Well, we saw you about to I was, being, I was. I felt a bit sad because we found a family coming towards with small kids. <laughs> And I said, are you fossil hunting? And I said, yeah, and we haven't found anything. I said, well, we found one. Look, this is what we found one at that point. I said, this is what you're looking for. And oh, that's really good. They that's thought really they were good. much bigger. And we walked 10 feet past them. And then Kim was like, I found one. They were like, what? Do you know what he said? He wanted me to give it to them. I was like, you are joking. <laughs> Because because as no! A, <laughs> as a, as a small boy, I'd have wanted someone to give me a fossil. No, you wouldn't. You wanted well, no. to find it. I and I said, you're okay. robbing them of the chance to have <laughs> oh, one. Oh, 
Yeah. You're I so mean, kind. I know. You don't want them to. It's so compassionate. So, I said, no, you can see the determination. They want to find yeah. their own. So we kept Crest form they were. And he wouldn't have given his own away. It was just because I'd found it. So anyway, that's yeah. the shock to think it was a lovely it was a lovely thing to do with teens. So now we've been decided by we've been signed by Discovery Channel for this. <laughs> we're having a shock. Jurassic we probably won't be looking again to be fair, because we don't Because you've done it now, yet. you've ticked it off. To find four. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. don't want to it to find them all together on that day. And, and it was, was perfect conditions. It was amazing. And a lovely time. We yeah. came back skipping and hopping about <laughs> after tea. And, oh, it was three o'clock when I texted you. Yeah, wasn't yeah. I can't believe you were there. So we were there a so long, long time. We hadn't had lunch yeah. or anything. That's wow. what it does to you. Yeah. No, right. that's what it does to you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. Who it's all good. You? It's all good. Who knew Mary? Who knew? Sorry. That's my friend Mary, who's a doubter. He's a doubter. She thinks the earth's flat as well. So <laughs> yeah. What can we say? <laughs> what can we say? But we do love her. Like. Should we move yes, on from we, the shark yeah. team? I think we should. You should don't we, need to mention it again. We finished the Dangerous Face series. We did. This week. It's yeah. been a great series, hasn't very it? Good. Very well received series. I think Emma's really enjoyed it. Yeah. So what, thanks to Open Doors for great resources. Yeah. What, what's been your favourite thing about this series? I am going to talk, ask you about your uh, son this week. I think just the way that you get to understand how God uses adversity to, to, for the gospel to go forward. I think just the stories that we get from those great videos, just the, the content that's been Very great. Very grounding, isn't it? Yeah, it's been really good. Really good. And I think it's just lifted our eyes a little bit from ourselves during COVID. And also just learning things, you know, you read those passages and then they've brought out things that I've never mm. thought of in that way before. So I think it's really been thought provoking and very grounding. Um, and, and almost seemed so perfect for this time. Yeah. Just fitted for us yeah. to fit like brilliantly. So well done to you uh, guys uh, who've done the all yeah, of the all yeah, of the tutorials. Tagged, tagged them, that one, yeah, it's been really good. And also the the Easter egg hidden Marvel characters has been fun to do. It yeah. has. A bit of COVID fun with lockdown. So, so I didn't notice yours this week. But we did have one person who didn't notice. Yeah. But you did have someone that did notice and, yeah. and even messaged straight away. Yeah. Straight away, yeah. So do I wonder if any of the Listeners will have, will have noticed, uh, because the person that noticed is a, a big Marvel oh, fan. Yeah. Big Marvel fan, yeah. So t- tell us how you did it. Well, I was struggling because there were very few characters left yeah. that we hadn't used, and didn't want to be too on the nose. Because we're sticking with the cinematic universe. So cinematic that, universe, so we yeah. couldn't just go into the backstory of all the Marvel characters. Because mm-hmm. this guy who... Can I just say, for anyone who doesn't know, and this is your first time to Coffee Chat, for this Dangerous Faith series, which doesn't normally happen and has never happened before, these well, two... may happen again. No, decided <laughs> to... To, to wager each other, I don't know who's bit, bit of COVID fun. Bit of COVID fun. There's no money involved. No. no. <laughs> or was there? No. no. Who could? Who won? You had to, in every sermon, get in a Marvel character, a reference. And so they've done it, both of them, every time. Um, it started off being very easy and then got progressively harder. Yeah. yeah. So yours yesterday was? <laughs> well, my yesterday was uh, Stephen Strange, Doctor Strange. He's had a film made about him. Doctor mm-hmm. Strange, is that film? No. no. It's a guy who can kind of weave golden sort of things and control time and things so so I talked about how um, how the Apostle Paul was responsible for the persecution in Jerusalem that he was going back to and the stoning of Stephen strange then that he would choose to return oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. that was just a beautiful Stephen Strange yeah, so, Stephen so, so. Strange and uh, one person got it so proper shout well you don't, you, you don't know who else got it maybe yeah oh, maybe, oh, if, oh, if, if you did get it yeah, yeah. every time we're, we're not getting people confirm or deny <laughs> no, whether yeah. they got it which makes me think they probably didn't <laughs> but, so if you want to go back and watch the whole <laughs> dangerous face series because it's great and look for those hidden easter egg characters why the Easter egg? I don't know. Well, an Easter egg is a term used in a game or a video where it's hidden by the creator, oh, wow. and if you find it, it's like a little. And spot. it happens to be Easter soon. A oh, good point, wow. I made. Yeah, oh, that's I mean, that is meta. But you didn't. Okay, so you didn't only talk about a no. Marvel character this no. week. That no. that was a very that's, much just a little. That, was, that came very late to the day. Yeah. What, what are those two words, Jake? So <laughs> you talked about the warp and the weft. Well yes! I was saying the waft. The waft. The waft. The waft. The waft. The waft. The, the warp and the weft. Do you want to explain yeah. a little bit about yeah. that? So we talked about how when you weave a garment, there's two sets of threads, horizontal and vertical. Mm. So you've got the weft that goes that way and the warp goes that way. Is that, that what way. you call it then? The... Yes, that's what if you're, if, you're, if you're somebody who uses a loom, a loomist, I don't know, a weaver. Have you ever done that? Because you've talked with such authority. You're such authority. I think you've got to see There's this many things I've done. Looming of Including Morris Dunton, but we don't talk about that on camera. And, that is um, actually a fact. Yes. Before he met me, Morris Dunton. I would not have um, allowed that. So weft and warp <laughs> go together. And I think, what I, as I was looking at that passage that Paul talking to his friends about going back to Jerusalem, they're going to say, why you do that? It's mm. persecution, why are you leaving us? That sense of the 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 what and the why, you know, this is this is the what I'm doing, but the why 
and, and we talked about how the why something we don't really focus on often is we get more focused on You might have to put the picture up because you keep doing this and people are going to wonder. Weft and the warp. I know, warp but put the picture up together. that you did. And, and the weft is the what? Yeah. Warp is the why. Correct. So in that little passage we had in, in Acts, we had Paul saying, well, I'm going to do this, this and this, and then he said, this is why I'm doing it. And uh, we talked about how in COVID we've, we've been more faced with the why of who we are and what we do, because we, we've our what has been very restricted. We can't do many things we normally do. We get lost in activity, don't we, normally? Mm. Quite a lot in the Western world. Uh, and so now we've been faced a bit more with the why. You know, where's it's also my a challenge to think going forward, why are we yeah. going to be doing the things that we're going to be doing, coming out of lockdown into the new normal? And I love that switch quote that, that I've got, standing yes. on the edge of everything I've yeah. ever been before, which I think is a yeah. fantastic lyric by John Such, Foreman. Yeah. Um, and that's where we are, we're standing on the edge of everything we've never been before. Mm. We've never been a COVID, uh, sorry, church in a post-COVID pandemic. It's yeah. never happened historically. So mm. here we are on the edge of, 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 the, of the new. What's the relationship between a what and a why? Well, I think, as I said, uh, everything you do comes out of your value or belief system. Yeah. And the, the what's the visible part of your life, but the why is the invisible. Mm. So your motives, your beliefs, your values, they only express themselves through the what. Um, so John Wimber years ago used to say you can tell where someone's beliefs are by looking at their at their diary and their bank balance. You can, mm. you can how you express yourself, what you choose to do with your resources, um, gives an indication of what's beneath the surface. Mm. And so, we talked about those threads being tested, didn't we, in COVID? Mm. How have your why threads been tested? Do you, are your beliefs about God been weakened or strengthened? Mm. And I think sometimes when you lose your way a bit, it's good to. And you just feel like you're doing the what and you're doing it's good to stop and remember why yeah because that can be the thread that strengthens the what again and you think no that's why i'm doing it because mm. you don't always think like that do you? you just get on with your life yeah and i think it's important moving forward that we start to think you know why are we doing this and that will give do, us a strength think this is the moment this yeah. is an opportunity to go back already, to the why yeah definitely. i think more than ever i think it's a massive uh, why are we know, doing everything we do in society mm. everyone's questioning their you know their, their mean their value their security it says in Hebrews that everything that can be shaken will be shaken to yeah. leave the unshakable. Mm. And COVID, I think, has done that for lots of people, whether they've got a faith or not. Mm. Everything has been shaken. And they're trying to say, where's the unshakable? What can I mm. what can I trust? Where's my where's my dependency? And I think for people of faith, it's a great opportunity to say, mm. actually, we've got these threads of why mm. undergirding our lives mm. uh, that really help us. We live this life this way because mm. of these, these undergirding yeah. threads. And that's what Paul was saying. Guys, I love you. You know, I'd love to stay with you, but I've got this bigger mandate. Yeah. And I talked about that, 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 that the missional community it can mm. be a really difficult tension to live in because yeah. God can call us somewhere and the, the community costs, you know, there's that tearing yeah, of community sure. that, that Paul was experiencing as he wanted to press on to Jerusalem. Sure. We shared a bit of our story, didn't we? Mm. Very briefly about our journey down here from Birmingham to Whistable. Mm. So this week, have a think about why you're doing all the things you're doing mm. and challenge yourself. Yeah. You know, is this a good enough why? Yeah. Is it strong enough? Mm. Yeah. to propel me forward into this post-Covid world. Yeah, I don't, I'm, We're seeing that in all areas, not just in, in people's faith, but in all areas at the moment. I mean, Jobs, loads of businesses work, are saying, yeah. you know, why, why, for example, why do we come into an office rather than work at home? Yeah. There's a lot of rethinking yeah. about that. Loads yeah. of re so it is a chance in yeah. all yeah. areas of life to go back to the basics. Yeah. Why are we doing yeah. what we're doing? Yeah. And it's that thing about your life isn't just on one dimension. Mm. You know, we, talked about you know God not being up there and, and, and life not being down here but it's sometimes helpful to have those kind of images in our head yeah. because we have these vertical connections to God and faith that under the create the fabric of our lives and undergird it really so yeah. you know when someone comes to a church like River Signs and says why do you do what you do mm. why do you choose to be generous in that way why do you choose to collect baby clothes and give them away freely because the why underneath that is we serve a God who's generous and we want, we want mm. to be like him so yeah really important yeah. So what's next? We've finished our Dangerous Face series. What's next? Mm. So, so we, a few standalones. We have we've got Mike Pilavachi. There's a few people who've recorded talks for the Vineyard, uh -huh. uh, Friends of the Vineyard. So we've got Mike Pilavachi this week. Uh, and we've got Chris Azard, uh, uh, the pastor who used to uh, pastor here before us. He's going to do a talk, I think, on anxiety and worry. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a lady called Sarah Carlyle who's doing a talk around your spiritual direction and how yep. we can recenter. And then you're taking Easter. Take Easter. It's Easter, Easter in Sunday. Sunday. Four weeks. Yeah, four weeks. Wow. True. Back That's exciting. Very and exciting. then we launched this Emerge series where we what it is to become visible again to each other and mm. to our community and, and just trying to help us process and also learn from and reflect on the journey through mm. COVID. Really. Which might be partly looking at the why. Yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. Absolutely. So yeah, looking forward to that. Great.
Great, well that's something to look forward to, isn't it? Yes. Well, let's call this Coffee Chat a day. It's great to have you join us this week and we hope to see you again next week. Bye. Bye. Bye.